In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, hello everybody, how are you doing? We'll be doing great by the grace and mercy of Almighty Allah. My name's N.A. Saqib. I'm your husband to Wilds Twitter. Additionally, we're also teaching the students of spoken English for the last 20 years. Today's lecture is about another question type of the listening subtest of the IELTS, and that is none else except short answer questions. As it is self-explanatory from its name, or uh, it is very much apparent from its name that the short answer to the questions are required by the candidate here. It is further divided into two models, uh, model one and model two. Let me explain them one by one. Uh, in the first model, in this task type, you will be given a question for which you have to write a short answer is using information from the listening text. So one thing is clear, this is not a general knowledge type of question. The second model is, sometimes you may be given a question which requires you to list two or three points. So this is the second model. So here you gotta be very much uh, touchy about the world limit. So you will be instructed on the world limit. Typically, no more than three words and or a number. So be sure about the world limit. And then my important tip is, please, please place some words in blanks. Even if you don't understand the answer, because there is no negative marking. For the wrong answer, you won't be penalized. So writing something is better than nothing. In short answer questions, if you cannot answer a question, do not just leave it undone. So place some words in the blanks, but not more than, but not more than three words as per instructed by the examiner. So read the instructions carefully and uh, you can determine the answer from the context of the conversation. For example, if you are unsure of the meaning of the word in question, or it is difficult for you to be understood, you can guess it by looking at other questions. That might have some related vocabulary and it becomes easier for you to have an intelligent guess. So I never recommended the random guess. I always talk about smart guess or educated guess or an intelligent guess. You can guess it if you just contextualize everything. And by reading the other word, words, vocabulary, questions, definitely something would come into your mind which would be very close to the answer and sometime it would be the answer itself. As I told you that there are two samples or two examples. So let me tell you first model and its example and then the second model example. Uh, definitely these are related to the short answer questions. Uh, instruction would be written over there, answer the questions below. So you must have the instruction note. Uh, maybe they write down like this, no more than three words and or a number for each answer. The question would be like this. How often do the bus services run for Lahore? Or run for London? Or run for New York? Now the empty space, space will be given. You got to write down the answer by listening to the recording carefully. And if you can't understand, I told you about the intelligent guess, how to be made. And then the second question, what time does the bus leave for Lahore, leave for London, leave for New York? So in empty space, once again, write down something out of the recording. You'll be listening very carefully. And be sure about the word limit as well. Because if there is a violation of the word limit, uh, maybe your answer is correct. It will be still considered incorrect. Now talking about the second model, 
short answer questions. Here once again, instructions are highly important. For example, uh, list three things which Sam wants to take on the trip. They would definitely mention it in the listing uh, recording and you will listen to it and you will be able to just write it down onto the empty spaces. But if it is not possible for you, I told you about how to make an educated guess. But guessing is something which is least desired. It is your listening with concentration and careful listening which will supply with answers, definitely. Uh, the question will be like this. Write no more than three words for each answer. The question was, list three things which Sam wants to take on the trip. Now, the three empty spaces here, A, B, C, or one, two, three. So you can write it down by listening to the recording very carefully. And in this way, your answer will definitely be correct if you are giving a lot of concentration for this task type. So God bless you all. Thank you very much indeed, my dear friends. We also take the online classes. If you're interested, you can contact us through our WhatsApp number which is mentioned over there, visual that you are just viewing this, for example, on YouTube, on Google, Google Maps, everywhere on Facebook as well with the same name page, Genius Institute Lahore. And don't forget to subscribe our channel, Genius Institute Lahore on YouTube for further valuable videos on spoken English and IELTS. Until then, God bless you all. Thank you very much indeed. Bye.